Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class for the first elementary grade. Our textbook is Weekend 1 and today inshallah we will cover Unit 4, Food. The lesson is Words on page 31. This lesson will be presented by me, Teacher Mazna Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al-Aqil. So let's begin. Quick revision on our last lesson. In our last lesson, we uh, get to know, where we got to know, different type of food. And also, when we said that when we're talking about these types, we learn how to pronounce each of these types and also to point at each type and to say it uh, together. So, just to remind ourselves, let's now, me and you, try to have a look at these different types of food and then you will listen and say it again with me. So let's start with the first food. So with words, listen, point, and, listen, point, and say. So the first word we have here is apple. Apple, say with me, apple apple so this is an apple an apple and this is how we write apple apple very good now let's move to the second word the second word we did learn about last time is pizza pizza say with me pizza pizza very good. So this is a pizza. And this is how we write pizza. Pizza. Now, let us move on to the third word that we have learned about last time. This word is salad. Salad. Say with me. Salad. Salad. Very good. So this is a salad. And this is how we write the word salad. Salad. Excellent. Now, let us move on to the fourth word. The fourth word here we have is soup. Soup. Say with me. Soup. Soup. Very good. This is a soup and this is how we write the word soup soup very well now the fifth word we have learned about last time was orange orange say with me orange orange very good this is an orange and this is how we write the word orange. Orange. Very good. Now, number six. Rice. Rice. Say with me. Rice. Rice. This is a rice. And this is how we write the word rice rice very good now let's move on to number seven number seven is sandwich sandwich say with me sandwich sandwich so this is a sandwich and this is how we said we write the word sandwich sandwich and for a word number eight is apricot apricot say with me apricot apricot very good so this is an apricot and this is how we write the word apricot and number nine, finally, we have the word capsa. 
Capsa. Say with me, Capsa. So, this is a Capsa, and this is how we write the word Capsa. So, in our last lesson, we talk about different type of food. We point at each food and we can say the name of that food. We can say apple, apricot, salad, soup, and uh, uh, capsa, and different types of food. Also, we learn how to say more than one food. For example, this is an apple. This is one apple. And we said, when we have three, three, then we will say, these are three apples. Apples. These are three apples. Apples. Very good. Here we add S. When we have three, we would say three apples. Apples. Now, number two. This is a pizza. This is one pizza. And we said if we have three, then we would say the, uh, these are pizzas. Pizzas. Say with me. Pizzas. So here we add S to the end because we have three. Three pizzas. Three pizzas. And number three. This is a salad. And if we have three, we would say three salads. Three salads. And now let us move on to the other example we had last lesson, which is soup. This is a soup. And when we have three, we also said th these are soup. Soup. Also with number five. One is a sandwich. One is a sandwich. And when we have three, we would say three sandwiches. Sandwiches. Say with me. Sandwiches. And with number six, this is a one apricot. An apricot. And when we have three, we would say apricots. Apricots, say with me. Apricots. Very good. So, we did learn about different types of food, and also we did learn how to say each one of these uh, food. Also, we said that when we have more than one, uh, sometimes we add S like in apples. And sometimes we don't add S, like in soup. So it's important that we keep this in our mind. Now, let us move on to our lesson today and let's get to know our objectives in today's lesson. So our uh, objectives in today's lesson, we hope that at the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify and talk about food, animals and clothes, and also utter simple words and numbers, and even to read and match words to photos or drawings. So let's begin by opening your books on page 31. I would like you please to open your books on page 31. Now, on page 31, it is important that we know the first rule in the grammar toolbox. So, sometimes we have something we call countable words, and sometimes we have something we call uncountable words. So, what do you mean by the word countable? Countable is something that we can count. For example, 
with the word sandwiches. We can say we have one sandwich, two sandwiches, three sandwiches, four sandwiches. We can count them. We can count. But with words like soup or rice, we can't count soup. We can't count rice. So what should we do? We use soup and rice without adding S at the end. So if we can count the word, here we add S. And if we can't count the word, here we don't add S, we leave it as it is. So, let's practice. The countable noun are the nouns that we can count. We can count. And uncountable is the food that we cannot count. We can't count. So, I'm going to say the words and I would like you to repeat after me. So, the first type, countable. Say with me, countable, countable, countable words like sandwiches and apples, sandwiches and apples. And how we know we can count sandwiches and apples? Because here we added S to the end of the word. Here we add the letter S. Now let us move on to the second one. The second one is uncountable. Say with me, uncountable. Uncountable words like soup and rice. Say with me, soup and rice. We don't hear with soup and rice, we don't add S. We don't say soups. No, we say soup. And here we don't say rices. We say rice. Rice. Why? Because we can count sandwiches and apples, but we can't count soup and rice. So it's important that we keep this in mind when we're reading about uh, food. Now, let's go to a funny game which is called the number race. The number race. So here we have a race, we have a contest, which is to count fast from 1 to 10 and back again. So we count from 1 until 10 and from 10 until 1. So here, how are we are going to play this? We will see a number next to a type of food. And what we say is we're going to look at each number and also we're going to say the word. So here, in the first one, what can you see? What can you see with the first picture? We can see number one. Next to it is an orange. So here we can say this is one orange. This is one orange. Say with me. One orange. One orange. Very good. With the next one. Here we have number two and here we have two apples. So what do we say? How we read the number with the apples? We would say two apples. Two apples. Say with me, two apples. Very good. Number three. Here we have number three and here we have pizzas. So how would we say this? We would say three pizzas. Three pizzas. Very good. Let us move on to the next one. Here we have number four, and here we have sandwiches. 
So number four, with sandwiches, it will be four sandwiches. Four sandwiches. Say with me, four sandwiches. Very good. Let us move on to number five. Number five, here we have the number five. And here we have carrots. So number five with carrots, how would we say it? We would say five carrots. Five carrots. Say with me, five carrots. Very good. Now let us move on to number six. Here we have the number six. And here we have onions. So number six with onions, it become six onions. Six onions. Say with me, six onions. Very good. Let us move on to number seven. Here we have number seven and bananas. So how we talk about uh, this picture, we would say, seven bananas seven bananas very good moving to number eight here we have number eight and here we have cherries so it we would say eight cherries eight cherries and now with number nine here we have the number nine and here we have cookies so number nine and cookies, it will be nine cookies. Nine cookies. And now let's move on to number 10. Here we have the number 10 and we have potatoes. So number 10 with potatoes, uh, it will be 10 potatoes. 10 potatoes. So now it is important that we, uh, uh, we are able to count from number one until number 10, and even back again from number 10 until number one. So now, my dear student, we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.